everybody. Today we're going to be exploring the Althan Ruins in this installment of my Exploring Skyrim series. What brought me to exploring this was I found that freaking mammoth stuck to a glacier. First I assumed it was global warming, but then I realized I knew better. I saw that there were some Dwemer Ruins up here. Which I determined were a male because there was a horny, horny goat right there. Goats are also known as horny sheep. And toads are horny frogs. And teenagers are horny men because of the acne. But you guys didn't know that part. Here we're going into the Althan Tower. And not a lot is in here except for some traps and some dwarven spiders, which are pretty easy to deal with. When you activate this button, be sure to pick up that Spell Tome Lesser Ward, because you're going to need it to get over, especially if you're not sick as hell like I am. Because watch this. Ward fails. I'm just fine. Here's some landmarks for you guys to discover this on your own. It's called Exploring Skyrim, so I want you guys to at least find it on your own. Because what's the fun if... I mean, I'm already giving away a lot for you. So I don't want to give away the location. Here's a body. It's dead. There's another dead body. What I want you guys to do is pause the video. Read it. And for those of you who aren't pausing the video, I'll give you a short summary. So basically, they're having an expedition. One of them finds a crack in the ice. It gives the names of the people involved. Uh, the crack in the ice is how they get to the ruins. Here's a bloody campsite, so you guys can already assume that it did not go well. Here's some blood trails, so we're going to follow them, as you naturally do. And coming up, we might find our blood expert. Where is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Chizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more scoop. Shut up, shut up. Don't lie to me, Chizar. You hid it. You always try to keep it from me. Here's a little spoiler alert. Uh, Jazar did not steal the skooma from him. He is a crackhead. Here's a little pretty part I decided you guys would enjoy to see. I enjoyed it, and I was like, that's pretty cool. Did a little double take there. Here's our next stop. And zoom. <laughs> There's the research notes. It's our next spot, so feel free to pause. But, in short, he saw a human-like figure beyond those bars. He set up camp down here. You'll see his bedroll soon. So that he could watch and see another one. I can't remember the name of him, but he's the head researcher. Uh, it's basically his research lab there. Up here is where we saw Jadar talking to himself and Jazar at the same time. It's a weird thing, only uh, drug addicts and insane people are capable of. Up here we find a racist spider because it didn't freaking attack Jazar. Otherwise, I know I wouldn't go attacking a skooma addict if I were a spider, so I could feel for him. No, you must be the one who took my skooma. Hmm? So as you can see, I did not take a skooma. That's a lie. And the smooth skin insult is from another game. Here's our next book. Pause the video. In short, people thought his brother, the skooma addict, had killed people. He felt they were wrong, and they probably were. I'm not going to spoil that part for you guys. And Jadar is basically immortal. Pause the video here, but in short, the head researcher went insane. He was accusing everyone of trying to steal his discoveries because people went missing, and he just assumed they found another way through. And people were going missing because of that walking thing up ahead beyond the bars. Here's another blood splatter. We're going to look both ways. Safety first. 
And then we're gonna go on in. Always look both ways when you're crossing the street, kids. Be sure to piss yourself. And there's our next dead body. Rest in peace, Endrust. We can guess who killed him by the arrow. Pause. So basically, a bunch of Falmer took them in their sleep, and he got wounded by them. One of them left, fended them off while he ran, and he clearly didn't make it. And up here, that trap was triggered by Serana. A round of applause for Serana for being an idiot. There's our next dead body. That's the body of the woman who was trying to protect Endrost. Rest in peace. So let's not go th in here. That guy seems like he's having a rough day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around. I changed my mind, but there's a bit of an irony up here. He was in a locked room, reading a book called The Locked Room. He died in the locked room. It's pretty cute. Here we're gonna jump down to the body. And I failed to realize that the body was gone up until right here. Like, where the heck's the body? I realized Serana freaking did it. Because Serana's a dumb bitch. Freaking Serana. Honestly, I just left this action here, in here because I felt like we were lacking action. There's Veily, our next victim. She died because of torture. And that guy definitely didn't make it. That is a trap only a blind man could come up with. <laughs> There's our next torch leading into this beautiful place where Serana takes the chance to hit on me. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. I'm glad you Who's there? What? <laughs> There. Here's our dwarf and centurion. Naturally, we're gonna leave the boss fight in here. Feel free to enjoy. Here are the last two survivors. Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. Is someone there? Thought and I'm an idiot. Because there was our conclusion. It looks like we missed it. But, I got a cool shield. Look at that lady's shield. It's pretty cool. All the spice and stuff. It's pretty handy. I actually started using it. And I got a few mods. You guys are going to be happy when you find out what mods I got. Alright, so that's it for exploring... Whatever. I can't remember how to pronounce it. And here's a dragon battle for you guys to enjoy at the end. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment your opinion, share this with your friends, watch my other videos, and subscribe. Thank you. I love you. Peace.